This is a nice CTPA where we have obvious opacification primarily of the pulmonary trunk and the arteries, so the right-sided circulation and the aorta uh, is not opacified. And what we're looking for are filling defects, and you've got to follow all these arteries out to the periphery. We want to make sure that the arteries are well opacified because you, you do need to pick up little small ones out in the periphery. And they can be subtle. So there's two down here. See this one blinking at you? Ding, 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 ding. Okay, and we go back up and we've got another one there. Okay, so we got two. Now this is a nice case because it shows you a couple of important things to remember about PE. One is 90% of them are multifocal. If you find one little sub-segmental one, cover it. Look for another one because nine times out of ten there should be one. Oh, yep, there's a second one. Now I'm definitely confident that was a filling defect. The other is majority, 90%, are in the lower lobes. Bigger lungs, more blood volume, maybe gravity. Okay, so it's important to know that those two percentages exist. Because when you see a tiny one up in the periphery of the upper lobe, it's like, is that really a PE? Use those rules and you might be able to get around that problem.